This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Who is Nina Benina Brown? No, for real though, seriously, who is she? She is She by Nina. She is on Grinder right now as we speak. She is booked. Oh, she's not booked? It got canceled? Oh, I've been waiting for this. She is old. She is tired. She is a man. She is busted. She cannot be trusted. She is not Shea kool -Aid. She is at Walmart. Stealing again. Who the fuck even is that? She gonna check me, boo. She is gonna still stay at home with her mom. She's still gonna drive that same old ass car. She is hatefully violent. She is fierce. She is always consistently losing Instagram followers. She is Nina Staton with her mama. She is trans. She is jealous of my pink wig. <laughs> she is bringing you fashions from the Dollar Tree. She is always on live, so you'll never see her at a booking. She by Nina, available at Walmart by the clearance section. Matter of fact, it might even be on clearance. You can't miss it. It's all the way in the back by the big clothes that nobody wants. Oh yeah, it's there. She by Nina. And hatefully violent. Hello, it's me, Pierre, a.k.a. Nina Bonina Banana Fanana Osama Bin Laden Brown, and we are back for another raw view. Thank you for tuning in. It's been um, a lot trying to record again, but here I am. Same old typical bull. If you come here and you get out the way, you'll be blocked and chopped immediately. Just keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. I'm not sure how I'm, if I'm sounding too loud, muffly. I don't know, because I had to take my Mac and send it to Apple to get it fixed. Not for the audio, but for my um, SD card reader. So, you know, they had to, like, basically start your computer from scratch. So, the settings I had are gone. So, I could be too loud. I don't know. But I'm sure y'all let me know in the comment section. Y'all love and let, to let, let people know their faults. I am going to be not watching the whole episode 10. A couple of reasons. I don't care. Just haven't been in the mood to be watching the drag race like that and giving the girls what they want because, you know, I still come to find that I'm still asking the girls out there to support me and my other content. So the more that's not happening, the more it's making me not want to watch drag race. Just being honest, like I know that for some of y'all, y'all want to pigeonhole me, keep me, keep me captive to only doing drag race content. Not only y'all, but YouTube. And I refuse to let it happen. So if that means that. I lose some people along the way. Bye. <laughs> you know, because somebody was like already telling me like, oh, God, I can't stand when you post your your gaming or other content. It's like, girl, bye. Blocked and chopped immediately. Like, you're not going to tell me how to run my channel. You know, I'd be telling you, oh, I have another page. But if y'all don't, if y'all don't want to go through the other pages, then I'm going to post my post what I want to mother effing post on my mother effing page. I mean, come to think about it, it's so many drag race girls now doing drag race reviews. 
you got plenty of people to go watch just for Drag Race. Like, if you're just here for Drag Race, you're just here because you're a fan of Nina from Drag Race, then you might want to go ahead and unfollow me. No shade, no tea. I am looking for the ones who are a fan of me beyond the show, people who like me for me, and they respect what I do and not just come here to hear what I have to say about these tired queens on Drag Race. No shade, no tea. <laughs> I mean, at what point do y'all get bored of that? I'm just saying. So, you know, so it's making me, honestly, 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 be more out of it because I'm like, you know, it, it, it'd be nice to get the same love on other content as well. And if you're tired of hearing that, then bye. Sayonara. But, um, you know, I will continue to try to get through this for y'all and do Drag Race content. Um, because, you know, I understand that's what most of the fan base is. It's just the ones who don't even try or just like are so disrespectful that those are the ones I'm talking to. I'm not talking to all my piggies out there. If, you know, a hit dog will holler. I'm, talk I'm talking to the hogs out there. Um, that you're just not going to pigeonhole me to only talking about Drag Race. Sorry. You know, and just like some people didn't even know that my Instagram page was deactivated. You know, some people, it took them days to even realize, which lets me know that people don't be checking for me. <laughs> you know, it's either that or either somehow the Instagram just ain't posting stuff. Y'all just don't see it. But no, I really just think sometimes people are just looking for a certain post and didn't even realize that I haven't even been on Instagram. And people that did realize thought they were blocked. And I'm like, why would I block y'all? Like, I just haven't. I deactivated it because I was just kind of just tired of it. You know, like, you know, if it wasn't because these are like the sources of income or or to like promote and reach out i probably wouldn't even be on social media like that because i'm just tired of it i'm just tired of like the battling of trying to get likes trying to get comments trying to compete with these people like it's just too much it's like by now if people don't get who i am or see who i am i mean there's nothing i can do <laughs> but i went ahead and reactivated it i can't even remember what we last talked about from the last time it's been so long <laughs> it seems so long did we talk about my trip to new york the last time i think we did well, that, you know, that was okay. I haven't got a booking yet since then. Um, allegedly, things are in the work. In the works. We'll see. I'm not going to go back and read any comments from the last time. I'm going to... Whatever tips that could have been from the last time. Um, you know, thank y'all. And those of y'all that are still around, that it will be around. If you would like to tip and support, you know the information is always in the description box down below. And you know that tipping is not a what? A country in China. Thank you, Constance Jones. Thank you, Nix63. Thank you, King Keatley. Thank you, Jordan Cox. Thank you, Mike Valdez. Thank you, Hannah Luterio. Thank you, Gustavo Elverio. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you, Charles Ferreira. Oh, thank you, Ethan Jones, for the great tip. Now that I won't, now that I won't let you tip me. <laughs> thank you, Cassandra Alcosia. Thank you, Carlos Alva. Thank you, Gal Moses. Thank you, Abdulaziz Alcocoraxi. God darn. <laughs> thank you, Stephen Hardwick. Thank you, Ryan Story. Those are all the wonderful tips. Thank y'all for still tipping me, even when I curse y'all out. I appreciate it. And um, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to just do like. After I block Coco, um, I'm going to just do the runways for the last episode in the lip sync and see who goes home and then watch the rest of the next episode, which I'm hearing they're back to 90 minutes for some reason. Um, and yeah. Okay. RuPaul is, that's RuPaul. Um, it's okay. So, anyway, the category is Knights of a Thousand Beyonce's, Grano Trinity, K. Bonet. Every other black drag queen right now is 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 rolling on the road, waiting for a car to run them over. Because they couldn't be here tonight to do it. <laughs> Sasha said that she inspired Beyonce for Sasha Fierce. Has anybody checked on Sasha to make sure she's still living? Because <laughs> you, you know the beehives come in. You inspired Beyonce? But you never know, because sometimes people do be watching from the sidelines, and it may not it may not even be the artist. It could be like the people that help them, and then they give people their looks or ideas, you know. And it's like it came from somewhere else. But you never know. But um, yeah, let's see. New London at the 2000s. 
So Beyonce's doing Beyonce's little when she did her Tina Turner number, a little look. I think I think um, Lux looks pretty good. I love the hair. I do love the hair. I want to actually, um, you know, just in general, it's like even on Beyonce, it's just a typical fringe kind of outfit. But I'm going to buy it. Cause I think she was close to it. Honoring Tina Turner. I am serving a direct. And I appreciate the sheer panel in the middle because it is close to her skin tone. So good, good, good on that. You're born naked and the rest is Bob Mackie. Amen. Damn, she happy. I hate this. <laughs> like the concept is like, you know, funny concept, right? But I hate it. <laughs> it's like, if you're going to do this, then you need to do it how, whatever season that was where somebody came on stage and they had like two complete mannequins on the side of their body. You know, and they were walking and then they were like kind of like puppeteering and it was like two complete bodies. Like if you're going to do that, then do it that way. Where it's like, you know, Michelle and Kelly. Was it blue? Yeah, I think it was blue or, or no, I think it was blue. I think it was blue. I, don't, I think I think Pythia or Pythia, she just she just had like two things on her shoulder. But I think it was blue that had the whole like bodies. So that's how I think it should be. Ooh, Michelle. And since when did Kelly get that light skin? Nina <laughs> as titties at the 2000. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> you know, I like. I don't really care for the look, honestly. I just don't. But I'm still gonna buy it. I want to take RuPaul and I'm trying hard to get Beyonce on the show. They're like, look, Beyonce, we're doing a we're doing a thousand nights of you. Come, come, please come. We're running out of good judges. Come, come. You're the only one that can save us. Come. Colby at the 2006 BET. I feel like B Sasha could have done better than this. I know y'all are raving and living. You know, she definitely got the hair right for the most part. But I think that this is like, out of all Beyonce looks, why this? <laughs> like, it seemed like an easy way out secretly. It's like, you know, oh, I can show my body, but it's on. Yeah, I mean, like, it is close to it. Like, I'm going to rent it. But, I'm like, but, but for Sasha, who can kind of do more of a Beyonce look, I want more. X Brooklyn, 2017 charity. No. <laughs> I mean, like, it's, I guess, her own kind of take on it. And it's just like, if I, I don't even remember this Beyonce look. Then again, I don't, I don't really even look at a bunch of Beyonce looks, to be honest, except for, like, if it's on a music video or something. But, um, it's just kind of, I don't know. I mean, like, I wouldn't know it was a Beyonce look if it wasn't for the picture. But no, I'm going to pass on this one. The touch, and I've got Beyonce's. Somebody was saying, does Beyonce really have iconic looks? And it's not reading, but like, I just think we just like Beyonce as a whole. Like, I don't really look at Beyonce as like a look queen. I'm not like, oh, she has all the looks. I personally don't. You know, like, I, I just look at her as Beyonce. Um, so I wouldn't be like, oh, she's a look queen, where I'm like looking at her looks. Uh, the On The Run Tour. Bow down, bitch. Uh, Something about this is like cheesy, and she looks old. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's the way the glasses are on, but she looks old. I don't even like this look for Beyonce secretly. I don't. I don't care for this. I don't know. She's like a Michelle Visage here too secretly. I'm gonna pass on this. The hips are hipping and the breasts are breasting. All hell quick. The breasts are resting, but there's not one breast in sight. Like what? Stop trying to just say all my words. The girl's a girly, da da da. Like, like you're just saying it for no reason at all. What? The breasts are what? The breasts are non-existing. What do you mean? Malaysia baby doll fox. The 2018. Okay, I'm gonna buy this for Malaysia. She looked good. This makes up for her bad, um, you know, the little main challenge. But she looks good here. I'm gonna buy this. And dare I say, I, hers might be looking a little a little better than Beyonce. So. The 2011. The no shade, but this runway is a little meh. I feel like they're not choosing anything really that cool from Beyonce. Like, really? Like this. So when you think about Beyonce, this is what you think about? Girl, Beyonce shouldn't have even worn that. <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh, now. The ladies. <laughs>
Right, thank you. Somebody said, like, why nobody didn't do, like, Beyonce's Dangerously in Love album cover? Exactly. Like, stuff like that that everybody's automatically going to remember. Somebody could have did a whole gown with that whole, like, dripping jewels and her in that Dangerously in Love album cover would have been sickening. Like, automatically, I know that's Beyonce. Automatically. Also, one thing about Beyonce, I think about maybe her single ladies look with the, like, the little, like, beehive ponytail, you know, moment going back in the black, like, leotard kind of moment going on. I think about that, you know, like, or go back to, like, the um, Destiny Child era where she had, like, the cornrows, the braids, or, like, the cowboy hat from Bugaboo and her long hair. And, like, you know, like, very, like, that. You got to think about, I think you should think about certain moments that are really more so well known for Beyonce. And a lot of these girls did some, oh, right, Austin Powers look or the um the checkup on it look. Sasha could have done that, the checkup on it look with all the pink and stuff. I feel like this was a kind of a waste of a runway, secretly. Oh. So, okay, the bottom two is Selena's and Malaysia. Personally, I think it should have been maybe Malaysia and Mistress. I don't recall... Like, Selena doing that bad compared to, like, Mistress messing up that much. Plus, in my opinion, Selena's outfit is better than Mistress's outfit for the runway. And plus, I really feel like they're trying to, like, give Lucy this, like, edit where, like, she just comes off bitter. You know, some will say Jan or whatever cases, but, like, maybe Lucy would have won if her, if her runway was better. But Sasha won. So, yeah, like, everybody's been saying... I guess they're gearing for Sasha to win this season. But they're lip sticking to single ladies. Let's see who wins. Selena was starting off kind of like she was mad. Ow. Even though Selena booty looks like a pamper in the back. I hope they don't just do Beyonce moves the whole time. I want to see their own personality too. Well, Selena won. Go the bun falling apart. <laughs> yeah, my lady, just go home. <laughs> just roll off the stage. TS is like, Dade County sister. Dade County sister. If you you better get it together, girl. You better get it together, girl. Dade County sister. <laughs> Dang she clapping. Like, it just looks like Malaysia aren't isn't trying. Maybe she is trying her best, but I'm just like everything she's doing just seems so like dead. <laughs> it's like it's like slow motion and and dead, and then and then Selena has too much energy, and then it's like I, I can't explain. It. It's like is she trying? Is she like I I, I can't really I don't really see that she's trying. <laughs> like, is she is she crying? Like what what what's going on? Selena has titties. Shantae, you stay. Sorry, Beyonce. She said, sorry, Beyonce, in case the fans get her. Well, Selena won. This whole competition, I've been out of breath. Now I can finally breathe. <laughs> okay. When I tell y'all, I, I, now I want them to ban Duck Walking on Drag Race. <laughs> well, the episode, from what I saw, wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad episode, but I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't have to record it all. Oh. But now I'm moving on to the, to the next episode I'll record. Okay. The fattest and the baddest from Miami. Now Suki comes marching in. V545, I'm the fattest of them all. <laughs> JK. No more Mrs. Nice as Diddy, okay? She's coming out to play. Yeah, she in the bottom tonight. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah. I really expected to win. Lucy, just stay quiet. They are trying to make you look crazy, girl. Don't even say nothing. Just smile and say, congrats. Congratulations. Con, con, congratulations. Just, just say that and smile and look at the camera and then look away. Technically the front runner, but I think I'm the front runner in terms. Is she behind? Is she? Really? Is Lux doing that good and I just haven't been noticing? Okay. <laughs> I hated that. Why weren't you pregnant though? Girl, what in the African American Chucky? Go and he look. Go, this is Funky Dineva and Chucky have a baby. <laughs> funky Chucky. <laughs> you, didn't have, you didn't have Beyonce body. I had Beyonce. Oh, clock her. <laughs> Clocked. I don't have to because I know. Just... No, I know too because I did the look. Last. Oh. <laughs> but the key. 
Okay, she looks better there, but still that hairline. Still the hairline. Like, what? what's the point of styling these wigs up and then just giving... Like, are you, be honest. Somebody from WoW just, me, just messaged me and say that when RuPaul puts her wigs on, they take her to the barbershop and they edge her up. I swear they are edging her up with the, with some clippers. And they use the white chalk outline around the hairstyle. Please stop taking her to get an edge up with the updo. Please brush some hair down. Make it look like it's come from the scalp. Please stop doing her so dirty. Ourselves a Harlem Vogue ball. Oh, we all did this to piss off Laomi and Ajin. <laughs> She did it to piss them off. Girl, she said, girl, I know that Leomi watches and she's and she hates it when we Vogue. She hates it when the drag race girls Vogue. So let's throw our own Vogue ball. She said, hi, Leomi. <laughs> oh, the girls are petty. And I and I I get here's the thing. I think what they're what also what the ballroom people are mad about is that. These kids these days that watch Drag Race, they truly don't know what voguing is. So even what she just did, they're like, yes, she vogue the house down boots. Because they don't know what voguing is. They haven't watched anything beyond Drag Race. They haven't watched a Legendary. They haven't watched, they haven't been around ballroom. They haven't been around girls who've been voguing. They haven't been to a club and seen where you go downstairs to the dark room part and girls are voguing the house music and stuff. They haven't seen these kind of things. So for them on Drag Race, it's all they know. So they're like, oh, yes, Vogue the house down boots. You're doing a little ka 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 You're Voguing. So, like, you can't really fault them because they don't want to step out of that box. They want to just know that kind of stuff. You know, so that's literally, you know, I've been around because, you know, I'm older for one. And then going to the clubs and them having three floors. And one floor is hip-hop. Other one's, like, maybe some, I don't know, reggae. The next floor is, like, house. And the girls are there, are there battling and stuff. So... You know, and then also, once again, there are girls who just do things the way they do it. And it doesn't mean that they can't vogue or not good. It just means that maybe they just do it how they do it. And everything doesn't need to be vogue. Like, so not, so just dance. Just dance. Just do what comes to your mind and dance. Every now and then, if you want to throw in a couple of little ka 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 you can. But, you know, they're just having fun. It's like, either way, it's not, it's not causing any harm to anybody. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Is she going to backflip from there? Nah. <laughs> Not the whistle. <laughs> oh. Oh, God damn. <laughs> oh. Okay, now, Leomi, you have a right to be pissed. Now you do. Now, now I'm going to shut up. Go ahead and let ham. Let ham. Let have. <laughs> yes, all of New York. Not the break dancing. And then these girls, they all swear they have to do like the like modern voguing. Just do the old school voguing that the old school queens do. The very slow. Uh, 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 uh. Break it down for her. Like, you don't have to do all the extra because if you can't do it, just don't do it. <laughs> all right, y'all going in so much. Like, calm down, RuPaul. <laughs> Because she ain't vulgar either. She's just dancing. And doing a little bit of like, ah, look at my legs. One, two, three. You know, a little performance. But like, she's not vulgar that hard now. Come down now. <laughs> we get it. Y'all want her to be in top three, girl. <laughs> God dang, calm down. Like that right there. That was kind of like, you know, voguing kind of performance. Like, uh, catch the scrans. <laughs> but it wasn't like she was like voguing battling. Come on now. I guess she's walking the runway, I guess. She's walking face with harsh blush. Tens across the board the board. Yeah, take your time with it, bitch. <laughs> That's me in my old age. I'ma get there, child. Y'all hold on, give me a second. I'm coming down, y'all. <laughs> Oh, she paused it. She said, hold on, let me think about it for a second. And then go. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing more so of the moves, you know, but it, you know, it could be of course cleaner, but but whatever. You know, but she's doing more so voguing than what Sasha was doing, but you know. <laughs> okay, Queens. I saw Honestly, I think personally for me, I think that 
What's her name? I think Lucy should win. But you're gonna put somebody's eyes out with that. It wasn't Elvis Presley's niece. Anitra. <laughs> Anitra won. Yeah, I agree. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Not the random zoom in for no reason at all. <laughs> Someone said Aja is screaming. <laughs> you know Aja. <laughs> Girl, has Aja said something on Twitter that I don't know about uh, again? <laughs> Oh lord, it's time for a roast or comedy stand-up routine. Let's see if the girl's gonna be roasting this time, or just a little slight bake. <laughs> that means you're with Lucy. I don't know, I don't care what y'all say. I feel like those drinks were perfectly put there in perfect place for those two to be on teams together, knowing that they were just beefing. Marsha, you'll be working solo so, so Selena was by herself and she was able to steal a teammate or work by herself. She chose to steal a mistress from Marsha. So now Marsha is all by her lonesome. She's on her own. Why did it end this way? This wasn't how it was supposed to be. Cheers. I love Sasha's hair like that. All the challenges, this is the one that I'm the most nervous about. Which means she's going to do good. Have you ever out there actually tried that bubbly drink? Like, is, it, is, it, is it actually good? Because I don't think it is. I haven't tried it, but I'm quite sure it's not. <laughs> my entire brain would just, like, explode. Like, how my head... Is he acting? Or is he trying to get out of the comedic challenge? Or what? And Ali Wong. I love her so much. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Mother RuPaul. She's beautiful. She is blonde. Is she blonde, though? Like Magic Mike. They've lost the magic. Sorry, I'll check out my phone. Go, not Gia Gunn has uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> Girl, does anybody have only jobs anymore? <laughs> I'm not even reading. Like, do people actually have like jobs anymore? Like, 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 do people actually care about getting jobs, or is it just like everybody's going on OnlyFans because it's like the easy way out? And then it's like, but then when that doesn't work out, then what happens? I'm like genuinely asking. Like, I'm, like, like for real, I'm like genuinely like, like I feel like because me, I I couldn't even see myself working on nine to five anymore i really couldn't but if i had to i guess i would have to i hope it never comes to that but i'm just like everybody legit is doing only fans everybody i mean i don't mean to embarrass you in front of all of your fan but not in all of your fan but not with an s just your one fan okay get freaky too geronimo by rupaul <laughs> okay laundry room downstairs he's already in <laughs> not mistress fake laughing ho 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 merry christmas as if i'm gonna give it to <laughs> When you just sound funny and talk funny, but what you're saying makes no sense at all. If you can't give head. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Not yeah, you're right. Oh. Entertain the kids with a little, you know, cute. When I tell you, Selena be putting on the whole foundation stick. She always look like she's wearing a mask. It's scary. <laughs> like before the final outcome, it's like, Girl, what in the mannequin that was cracked? I cannot. It's like porcelain. Also, too, with Latinas, it's like they also keep a lot of stuff hidden. That's like a big reason. Marsha is me, but I'm black in the corner. I can't relate. <laughs> I think like after that day, it just helped me realize that. I so this is why I wanted to add the extra 30 minutes to make the show longer. Just so we could hear all this. This is what y'all wanted, fans. They could have already cut through this. We could have already been to the runway. Why? <laughs> I see Ru RuPaul looking like a walking pinata. Um, <laughs> like it's a cute dress, but I swear I could find this dress, and it's no shade at the thrift store. Like it, it, it like one of those you just you know you're going through the thrift store and you're like, oh, what can I find today? You're like, oh, this is cute, cute little sequin numbers, cute for what it is. <laughs> eh, I mean, she looks cute, I guess. You know, <laughs> keep your frenemies close. And it's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina, Bonina Brown. Got my ice cream gloss looking gorgeous. When he eats the booty like tuna paste. And that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina, Bonina Brown. Hey, bro, I got... T.S., I hate this hair. Your hairstylist did you dirty. This is horrible. I'm sorry. 
What in the My Little Pony? Uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's like one of those Halloween, like, here, like, like, kind of here. It's so bad. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Okay, now this time for real, Marsha don't have on any makeup. And this dress, girl. <laughs> Did she just like go backwards? Like this is all she has on is eyeshadow and her brows done. There's no makeup. I cannot. As a boy in a dress. I'm sort of a newer drag queen, so being here has felt. Not somebody the audience says we can tell. Bad, but guess what? I'm finally a B cup. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> I didn't. I can say that's being on Mean Girls or something. <laughs> Where were you when you realized your entire hometown was lying to you? I was on television. Oh, no, I think that's funny. I think she's being clever, but people don't really, you know, they don't know who she, oh, God dang. Uh, and with that, I think that's my time. <laughs> I, a lot of comedians or people that do jokes, they love doing this. I guess it's like a defense mechanism thing to kind of just like cut yourself short. You're just like, and over there we have Earth of the Sea, which, um, so yeah. And then over there we got... Who is that? Cruella DeVille? Um, okay. And you over there looking like an e uh, um. <laughs> you kind of cut yourself and kind of just like, you cut it and then kind of, um. You got to always do that to kind of just stop the moment. I know about a girl like her. A really sincere place, but they're both. I mean, none of the girls are like at least trying to give her a little bit of confidence. But I know it's funny to be there all dead face, but it's like, give the girl a little bit of confidence. <laughs> Did, uh, smile a little bit, child. You have really nice teeth. <sighs> lux, lux, lux. This just looks like a boy in a blonde wig. <laughs> I'm just like, does, does, any, does anybody care? <laughs> Nobody cares this episode of trying to give an illusion? No. Nobody cares? Okay. How white do they get? Oh, girl, they get. They get as white as, as you act. I know that's white. <laughs> Waiting for somebody on Twitter or somebody to say, but if it was the other way around, it was a black joke, then y'all be getting canceled, right? <laughs> I can say when it's good. I don't like saying it, but I can say it. Same, Sasha. I hate saying when something is good. It hurts me. Lovato up in here. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> Ooh, she ready to go home. <laughs> She's like, why did I sign up for this show? Love it. <laughs> and now... And why is that guy there? I, every time they show him, he just sitting there with his bifocals, not smiling at all for nothing. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the joke, but it's maybe not how it was said. You know what they'll say, say they say. Oh, not the smile. <laughs> so, not the little. Not the, not let me think about it. I guess I'll smile. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, good and then why uh, I need to put on this whole. Well, let me tell you about it. You see what I mean, sonny? I took him to the store and I went to go buy a bottle of eggs. Yes, I said a bottle of eggs because, honey, in my deck of the woods, we don't put them in cartons, I tell you, sonny. If I try to sound like this, it may make me sound a little more funny, honey. You get what I'm saying, honey? Are you God, <laughs> she's... Oh. You know what I love? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing more at the girls in the background. I cannot. But Mistress was, Mistress was painted, though. Shut up. <laughs> and Sasha's hair coming out from the back. I can't. Let's just go for it. All right. Um, what we really want. They're still going. See, why did y'all ask for 30 more minutes of the show? I can imagine the fans still being like, Sasha turned that legend icon. Oh, oh, I laughed until I died. Oh, oh, legend icon. Yes, win her, crown her now. Ooh. I take my hip pads off, right? You keep the belly on, bitch. Why you didn't ask if Mistress took her belly off? I grab my highest pair of platforms to look. Selena just knows how to talk. Like, she talks a lot. So it's like, you think she's funny? Because she's just talking a lot. <laughs> like, you could just do that. Like, you, you could just say... Something about green eggs and ham. And as long as you know how to like talk 
you can sell it. I opened a book called Dr. Seuss Green Eggs and Ham, honey. And Green Eggs and Ham said, Sam, I am, honey. I said, Sam, I am who, honey? I said, the ham is green and the eggs are green, honey. And I went and I closed the book in the library, honey. It had green eggs and ham, Sam. And, y'all, and you're laughing because you're like, I think she's funny. I think, like, it sounds funny to me. <laughs> I mean, this is what it is. Girl, that's why I don't even entertain trade and dry. Mitchell's was too ready. <laughs> Her hair looked good, though. Shop. And I found this Oh, not Tia's board and checking her heavy ponytail. <laughs> She's like, is this thing on? Is the ponytail still on? It on. Okay, it on. Marsha, Marsha. Category is ripped them to shreds. So Marsha's doing like a carry kind of thing. I don't like it. I mean, like, it's, it's does the concept like it's shredding but I still want it to look good <laughs> this is kind of like what Lux did last week for her Beyonce look would have been perfect for this runway because it's all shredded like fringe so yeah I deserve that so they tore apart my <laughs> not the back of the wig Viola Swamp really got a makeover mm. I don't really get shreds from this and I don't like the makeup like kudos on her doing something different with her makeup but I don't like how it's been done. And I'm getting more so burnt than shreds. Like it looks more sh like she like her outfit is sh burnt. You know, but I'll put it on layaway. Okay. This look was inspired by RuPaul herself. It looks like she's wearing toilet paper. <laughs> but besides the, the, the shoulder stuff, she does look cute. Like overall, I, I want to rent it, but just for a day. Like just, just for a day. Just, and that's it. She, Sasha Colby. She's got great jeans. Okay, Sasha looks gorgeous there, and I'm buying it. I'm already gonna buy it. It looks shredded. She looks pretty there. Okay, I'm done. Oops. Stay shreddy. You ain't got to get shreddy. Oh. Be I'm gonna buy this for Anitra. It's cat suit, but it's but it's cool and it's shredded. I'm gonna buy it. She looks cute. My concept is a lotus shredding through the mud and coming out to blossom on top. Never mind. I'm gonna rent it now. I didn't buy her story. It's giving a lotus that was peeking out on the lake. Where? <laughs> I'm still going to buy it, but I'm not buying that bullshit story. <laughs> Delina's titties. This week, my runway. I hate this. <laughs> it almost looks like what Lucy was wearing, and the hair is too just Daisy May. I, I don't like this. <laughs> I didn't burn. I crystallized. I wasn't getting Madonna at first, and I still don't know. Um, I guess it's I mean, I guess it's kind of shredded, but it's still kind of burnt. It's okay. Like I, I'll, I'll put it on. I don't know. I don't know what, what I want to do with this. It's just so good. I like the hands. Girl, those white jokes were so funny to me, honey. I almost fell out of my skin. You did a but were they funny to the white folks? RuPaul was a funny to you. Like we had talked yesterday, but because I couldn't hear some of the words you were saying. I want to say they can never hear black girls what they're saying. And they step to the back of the stage. Thank you so much. I kind of thought Mistress would have been in the bottom a little bit, but I guess not. Winners of this week's challenge. Oh, both Lux and um, Lucy won. Okay. Squishy. You are safe. Oh, they saving Sasha's life. <laughs> they are really saving Sasha's life, girl. They're like, you will win this competition when it really should have been both of those two in the bottom. Anitra, they're so... But Marsha was bad too, though. Now I think about it. But I do think she had a little more, in my opinion, funnier jokes than Sasha. But Sasha's runway definitely is better. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I had downloaded this song after after I heard it on um or watched it when I when I watched that Harley Quinn movie. And now when I whenever it comes to my iTunes, I always skip it. I'm tired of it. <laughs> it was like during the movie, I was like, yes. And then when I get home, I'm like, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Ow. Okay, Marsha holding her own and Anitra is doing her, you know, her thing. Ow, the way she kicked, the way she kicked off that little cover up. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that was sick thing. That was sick thing. But I think Marsha's, um, the, Marsha already looks crazy with this whole look in her face. It kind of goes with this song, too. Okay, she did something different. What kind of slow bunny hop? <laughs> Just very slow bunny hop. 
I am getting there. <laughs> it wasn't a duck walk, it was a bunny hop. Wait, is the song being cut or something? I'm like, or is my computer acting up? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? <sighs> this definitely probably, even though, I, okay, if it came down to it, I think I would still choose Marsha over Anitra. For more, a little more reasons. Anitra been involved so much. Um, but two, I, I, I do think Marsha, something about watching her doing this song is more appealing to me. Then Anitra, I don't know what it is. But I, I do think this should be a, a double Shantae. But I was kind of hoping not so the show could, so the season could end quicker. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good lip sync. <laughs> probably from this whole season, probably one of the better ones, for real. Star. Now. Oh, see, I was waiting because I thought they were going to say, Marsha, you stay too. I mean, honestly... She didn't do a bad job, so there's really nothing to be mad about. You you actually stood there and held your own over there with Anitra, so. Forget the nose. Ow. My heart. Oh, okay. It, it took a little minute to get there. Well, I'm a boss. I'm a bee. I'm a bee, bob, bis, bob, bib, bob, boop. I'm a bopper. Well, y'all let me know down in the comment section below who y'all think won that lip sync. I still think... I mean, it isn't that either one lost. I just think I like watching Marsha's better for some weird reason. Maybe because, like, you know, I've already seen Anitra do all her things. I guess maybe that's why. I don't know. But, um, yeah, thank y'all for watching, you know. And um, I guess I'll see y'all for the next one. We'll see. Yeah, I'll see you. Whoever's around or, you know. <laughs> stay beat. Stay beautiful. But most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. Bye. Bitch, <laughs> why you mad? Cause my pussy pops severely and yours don't. How do you say pussy? How do you say cunt? How do you say I love the girls and know the girls are cunt? Pussy cunt. Pussy cunt. Pussy cunt. Puss, puss, pussy. Puss, pussy, pussy. Cunt, cunt, cunt. Cunt, cunt, cunt. Pussy, 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 cunt, cunt, cunt. Pussy, cunt, cunt. Pussy can't pussy can't pussy can't 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 pussy 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 can't 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 pussy can't pussy can't pussy can't can't can't